Hi guys, welcome to the Epic Aesthetic High Intensity Training Vlog number 5. And finally, chest, shoulders and triceps have been filmed. Beach muscles are on display in my yellow Epic Aesthetic stringer and those short shorts. All I need now is a fake tan and a music festival and I'm ready to party. But now that I'm approaching my 30s and I'm married, I'm going to give up on that dream and just stick to training and trying to be famous on YouTube. So, chest training. My favorite little technique of pre-exhaust is back using machine flies to, to pre-exhaust, pre-work, pre-fatigue the chest muscles whilst leaving my triceps out of the movement. And then once I've failed on this exercise, I'm going to move quickly to the dip station and I'm going to bring in my triceps and they're going to help me really take my pre-exhausted chest to complete and total failure. What can often happen with chest training, especially if you've got big long gorilla arms like me, is that your triceps and your shoulders, being smaller weaker muscles, um, will give out on your pressing movements long before your chest has actually fully failed and fully fatigued. And what that means over time is that your arm muscles develop ahead of your chest muscles. But as we know in any physique competition or just for general aesthetics, you really want to have a big powerful chest as the centerpiece of your upper body. So I'm using the pre-exhaust technique to get around some of my, I guess, biomechanical disadvantages of having long arms. And hopefully I can get that big Arnold um, bowl chest look happening in the next few years if I work hard at it. So with the pre-exhaust technique, the second exercise often has lower reps, just three to six reps, because obviously the six to 10 reps on the isolation exercise have, have really worked your chest quite hard and just hitting a few more really strong reps on the dips here um, take your chest to complete failure. As you'll notice in my programming, if I do have two or three exercises for a muscle group, I make sure that they really track different paths through the fibers. So the pec deck or the machine flies hit the sort of mid chest, inner chest part of the, of the muscle, and then the dips hit the lower part of the muscle, and then I've got some incline flies here which are really going to hit the upper chest portion which has so far been neglected, and then it's also going to bring in the delts, uh, the front delts really hard to um, build up big powerful shoulders. Um, so when I do something like an incline movement, I probably won't do a military press after it for the front delts as I feel it sufficiently um, works that part of the body. So here I'm using this incline uh, dumbbell movement as kind of a transition exercise between upper chest and front delts. So because I feel my front delts have worked sufficiently hard already, I'm going straight to an isolation exercise for the medial head of my shoulders. Um, I've written 424 cadence, but I've since decided a 224 cadence is more appropriate due to the nature of the strength curve. You can try one or the other um, and make up your own mind, but I've definitely found 224, so two seconds to lift, two seconds to hold, and four seconds to lower is, is the most effective way of, of doing a dumbbell or cable raise. So, um, But the main points are just slow and controlled and really take advantage of that top position where your, your side head is working really hard. So if you can pause in that position and then come down slowly, your muscles are gonna be doing the work. You're not gonna be cheating the rep. Okay, so triceps. Obviously triceps have been hit hard from the dips um, and the incline dumbbell already, but obviously due to the pre-exhaust technique, I wouldn't have taken my triceps completely to failure yet. So I'm just using an isolation exercise um, of the tricep push down to finish them off and then moving on. Um, so just one tricep exercise there because I've already sort of involved it in my chest training prior. So I'm trying to avoid overlapping and overtraining certain muscle groups by picking more effective combinations of exercises. Um, rear delt work here on the rear delt machine, slow and controlled, two second hold. Try not to drive your hands behind your back here. It's sufficient enough to sort of get your elbows in line with your back here um, to hit that rear head. And then this day is done. So thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for the support so far. 
please like, share, and subscribe. Good day.